Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, producer, songwriter, and musician. Welcome to my quick start course for Persona Studio One 5. In this course, I'll give you a straight to the point walkthrough of how to get started in Studio One 5, including setting up your audio devices, recording and editing audio, working with MIDI and virtual instruments, basic MIDI editing, quantization, and note effects, using the integrated Melodyne Essential plugin, which is included with Studio One, working with your arrangement, basic mixing, adding effects inserts, sends, and effects channels, working with automation, and exporting your finished song. And I'll also cover some of the new updates in Studio One version 5, including the new score view for traditional notation and the newly redesigned Native Effects plugin suite. I'll be using the Studio One Professional version for this course. However, most of the functionality I'll demonstrate in this course is available in the Studio One Artist version as well. But keep in mind, there are some plugins and some functions that are only available in the Professional version. And I'll point these out as I go through the course. Studio One 5 is available for both Mac and PC. For this course, I'll be using the Mac OS version. However, visually, the Mac and PC versions are almost identical. What's different are the various key commands or shortcuts that I'll be demonstrating throughout the course. The main thing to remember here is that on a Mac, your main modifier keys are Command, Option, and Shift, while on a PC, these are Control, Alt, and Shift. Command on a Mac is Control on a PC, and Option on a Mac is Alt on a PC. Shift is the same for both. So just keep that in mind when I point out various keyboard shortcuts. For example, a Mac shortcut like Option P to enable Play Start Marker would be Alt P on a PC. And Option Command P on a Mac to toggle Loop Follow Selection would be Alt Control P on a PC. And I'll make sure to mention the PC shortcuts as well as I introduce these. After installing Studio One and opening it for the first time, you'll get a dialog that asks if you want the minimal installation, recommended installation, or the full installation. If you have adequate enough storage on your computer, I'd recommend the full installation because this will include the full sample and loop library, so you're not missing anything. And also, make sure that Melodyne Essential is installed because I'll demonstrate how to use this for vocal tuning in this course. After installation, you'll be taken to the start page where you can start your first song, and I'll cover this in the next video.